Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter for Basic Sorgonomics here. I'm talking today about a uh, company I, I got to visit yesterday and actually I, I, I learned about them probably a little under a year ago um, called Upto. Uh, ran into them actually um, trying to get their word out there uh, after the TEDx uh, Grandview have now the TEDx uh, Pittsburgh event uh, last year. And, uh, and it's a pretty cool concept. And I got to uh, attend their open house yesterday at the Cube or the Beauty Shop, depends on what you want to call it. I guess it's a little bit of both. Um, as I understand it, uh, the beauty shop being uh, kind of an, uh, not an incubator, but more of a co-working space uh, here in Pittsburgh in the East Liberty area, which is really kind of growing up lately. Um, you know, there's a lot of these companies, you know, a lot of these smaller companies, Google's over there um, as well. Alpha Lab is moving, has moved their other office over there. So they're very represented over there. So, so there's this really cool thing happening with all these upstart companies and all these established companies kind of intermingling on this tech sector. It's our own kind of mini Silicon Valley, I guess you can say over there. But like I said, I went over for their, um, you know, their, their, their setup over there and, and, and see what's going on talk to some people and, and schmooze a little bit and uh and drink some beers um but it was pretty cool so what is up to um so it, it's a it's a company that uh they they have freelancers and in, in, in web design a little bit of social media work uh, a lot of a lot of that kind of stuff and uh they're providing services for small businesses uh in the pittsburgh area and they've been doing um you know i was kind of for more more first introduced to the idea that they were doing these pop-up events in neighborhoods. So they'll go, come to a neighborhood like, I don't know, like they'll some, they say they'll come here to beach view, say, and uh, they'll have an event and any of the, any of the uh, business owners in the area, small business owners can come in and uh, have, uh, you know, really no nonsense prices for their work. And, uh, and, 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 and I know, you know, as you know, having both had a small business and thankfully you know i was on hand to kind of do all that kind of work but it, it can get really heady because you get a lot of um designers and everything that that are really priced out of range for a small business and uh and the way they have it is uh you know you come in and you know maybe do a logo then you come in later maybe update your website and you come in and do social media integration as it was explained to me and and Along the way, also teaching the people how to do these tools. I really like the philosophy when I was talking to these people about like, you know, hey, yeah, we're trying to teach them. And, and this is something that I share and I've talked about here on the show, how, you know, social media, hey, it's yours. Hey, you know, this is something you can learn. You know, it, 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 these are free tools. And, uh, and, and, and that's your, that's your, your, you know, part of your advertising that you don't have to pay for if you're doing it very smart and, and using that engagement and getting people behind you in your company and the ways you can do it. Use something as simple as Meerkat to just like show stuff off in the middle of the day, you know, uh, or behind the scenes, stuff like that. And it's just, it just kind of helps gain that following and get, help, help people get to know you. And they're, they're completely along the same line in that and, and doing that kind of thing and doing the integration and doing a little bit of like, well, you know, we'll give you a month of, we do these, see what hits, you know, or set up your Facebook page and stuff. And, uh, and really, it really makes sense. And uh, and they got a really cool thing going over there, um, but uh, and also they are looking for I think they're looking for copywriters and I, is it designers I think they were saying maybe logos, um, but uh, if you know if, so if there's anybody out there that's kind of looking maybe do something a little extra or just looking for a little more freelance work or another source, um, if you go to uh, their, their site is whatareyouuptoo.org. And uh, you can pop in there and actually, uh, you know, fill out a form if you're a freelancer and want to help out. And, you know, again, you got to kind of work with the rates, uh, but they're very, you know, say no nonsense, straightforward kind of things. And they help um, kind of organize and connect you with the client. And, and, and it should be pretty painless as far as those go. Um, and if you're a, a company, you know, these are really good guys to go through, go to. And I like their kind of ongoing education that they were talking about, too, because it is, you know, like we said, kind of like, you know, we start you here and kind of hand over the keys. Um, but they do have uh, looks like a, a I double check what it's called over here. Um, this no good membership, I believe, where uh, you go in and there's a lot of educational materials. So you kind of learn how to work with the new digital side of things. And that's the thing. A lot of these people, you know, be it a small business has been around for a while and just is having trouble keeping up with this new digital age of doing things, um, you know, or or you're, you're you know, 
you know, as, as I start my company and say, you know, hey, I know how to do this web stuff and hey, I know how to do this video stuff. I don't know how to do the accounting at all. You know, um, just like, you know, hey, I want to be a baker. What do I know about HTML and Twitter? Right. Um, I overheard a really good conversation. Somebody's like, well, do you do you do the Twitter? And, and they're like, I have no idea where to even start with it. Right. And that's so interesting because, you know, I, I feel like I kind of live in a world around people that live on the thing. And and, and, and and you have to really kind of step back and say, no, there's a lot of people that don't. And what we're saying this is vital and everything. But there's, you know, to get a certain a certain active segment of your audience. Um, but, you know, there's a lot that it scares. There's a lot it doesn't understand. I remember a few years ago trying to explain this thing before it was absolutely everywhere. It was hard to. You're like, oh, you do this and you do this and you broadcast to everybody uh, whatever you want to say and, and you have friends and you at reply to them. And there's the, why do I want to do this again? Oh, no, right now, it's because that's where the people are that, that are potentially your customers. So yeah, that's where you have to talk to them or Facebook or somewhere else. Uh, and that makes sense. And and they're, they're, it looks like they're taking a really good, uh, you know, we were discussing this like, I talked about, you know, taking a social media platform at a time and trying it and see if it fits, see if you can get it into your workflow, see if your audience is on that platform, you know, whatever you think makes sense for where your audience is. Um, I mean, and that's as simple as going on, like maybe Google, not Google, going to Facebook, go on Google, go on Facebook, wherever it is and, and look for, uh, you know, baked goods, you know, actually baked goods probably does well in Pinterest and Facebook and I will say more because that's just an idea in, in the back of my head. Mostly because of demographics. Pinterest is very visual. Facebook's very visual. Um, and we've seen, I know, I don't know how many times in the last week, people are saying they need to unfollow my wife on Facebook because of the things she bakes and puts up there. And it makes them hungry. <laughs> Which is a good problem to have, which is exactly what we heard when we had a newsletter for the for the uh, for the cafe. And, you know, unfortunately, we had short hours because of, out of our control. And uh, and uh, people were like, I I'm downtown. I need to unfollow your newsletter because I can't go check the place out on lunch and get these dangerously looking muffins. <laughs> and uh and uh you know it, it's not fair uh but but it but it worked that's kind of word of mouth that's kind of attitudes you want out of something like that and, and it's just finding that thing that works with your company not that i don't know i don't know are there a lot of small businesses that are listening to this i hope so i i hope there are uh, you know i'm trying to cultivate some of you guys uh signing up for the newsletter and talking about these kinds of things and these kinds of tools you can use to get whatever your message is if you're selling something if you have a business selling something or a service or if you're just going to get your message as a nonprofit out there um all of those i think it all applies um there's a lot of crossover there's a lot of i think there's a lot of crossover between nonprofits and businesses um it's just a little bit of the language changes in the meantime and uh, we'll be doing a lot of discussions about that in the coming weeks as we're getting into talking more and more with nonprofits um and practitioners uh over over the course of the talks and journalists i gotta talk to potential journalists next week I guess this is newsy, you know. Uh, so we'll talk about that. Hey, I don't know uh, you guys doing the weekly challenges. Go check it out. They're the Tuesday shows for the last two weeks. Um, they're they're massively labeled a weekly challenge. Um, I'm I'm taking stuff off my list this week. That was really I talked about getting things done here last last Tuesday, and uh, we'll do a brush up on that this coming Tuesday. Um, I floated this question around there. We're going to get into it Tuesday. Um, more extensively, but get ready to make something, guys. Uh, I know I talk with a lot of people wanting to make something, want to get in front of a camera, and we're going to do a little bit of exercise. I'm going to challenge you guys to a week of video and uh, a little something to get you used to be in front of a microphone, a camera, or even your microphone and web camera on your phone, whatever the case may be. Uh, so we'll uh, definitely look at that, uh, talk about the, the possibilities there. And it doesn't have to be something you broadcast, but I would love to see what you guys come up with. I know there's some guys out there I've been talking with on Facebook that I haven't seen any video from. 
I think they may have called the hotline for one of my podcasts. Why well, I want to see see what they're making. I you know get show everybody maybe they have an opportunity to make something and make something cool online. Uh, so tune in for that. Please subscribe to this um, on iTunes, Stitcher, uh, Spreaker. Look for Mike Sorga on there. Kind of have it just under my name. And uh, da, 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 da. I, I started quietly reposting stuff to Daily Motion too. Is anybody use that thing? I, don't know. I just want to kind of get the international audience, I guess. So uh, with that, I'm at Sorgatron on the Twitter. Let me know any comments and let me know what you think of up to and these kinds of uh, services for small businesses or just service for small businesses in, in, in general. It's a really great discussion happened on LinkedIn uh, about video production and why even bother with small businesses because the price is too low. So, but I think there's a lot of uh, solutions to that to kind of, uh, you know, earmark into that and education and, and everything. I think there's still a market you can poke at there. And up to, I think, is doing a really good job at it uh, for basically everything but video for now. So, um, oh, check that out. What are you up to.org if you want to check out that site? Great people out there. I just want to get them shout outs. And we'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.